to Cha Cha's Queendom. Today I want to show you this amazing tree that we discovered about five years ago when we moved back to Taiwan. We love it so much and my daughter gave it a name as the Chewy Snowflakes. Some people call it the Marshmallow Biscuits or the Nougat Delight. I've been making it for the last two years for our family and friends as a special holiday treat since we moved back and everybody has been asking for the recipes. And the truth is, when people love it so much, I kind of feel a little embarrassed to tell them how easy this is to make because I want them to feel like I'm slaving away in the kitchen for them, right? But hey, I've decided to give out these recipes and share my special treats with you so you can also make these special treats for your family and friends. So for those of you who's been asking and asking and asking for the last two years, you know this is for you. True love, true love here, okay? Because now I'll have to come up with new special treats for the holidays. So would you please like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Now, let's get started. And if you know me, you know that I always like to add something to create more layers of flavor and make it pop. So here are the ingredients for today. I need some Ritz crackers, but today I'm using the gluten-free crackers for my son. And they're equally as delicious, and I'll include the link below. Marshmallows, milk powder, dry fruit mix. Today we're using dry pineapple and dry strawberries. And this is what I found at Costco, the Coastal Berries. Um, they're perfect mix for dry fruits, yogurt bits, and also nuts. Unsalted butter, and this is my secret ingredient, cream cheese. And my friends, all we need to do is to melt down the butter, the marshmallow, and the cream cheese, and then adding all the dry ingredients, mix them well, shape them, cool them, cut them. Easy enough, right? Let's turn up the heat to medium. You want to melt the butter, but you don't want to burn it. Now the butter is melted, you want to hurry up and put the marshmallow in. And you want to be careful with the heat. You want to turn it to a little bit lower because you want to melt the butter and the marshmallow, but you don't want to burn them. And I use the mini marshmallow because it's easier to melt. If you can't find the mini, you can use the big one. It just takes a little longer to melt them. Now that most of the marshmallow is melted, I'm going to start putting in the cream cheese and melt it. And the marshmallow is the base of this whole thing. And then you can play around with the fillings that you want to put in. What kind of nuts, what kind of dry fruits, it's all very flexible. Now everything is melted. You want to make sure now you use low heat and put in the dry ingredients, the milk powder. Make sure the milk powder is dissolved completely and then we're going to put in the rest of the ingredients. All right. Now I'm just going to use my hand, lightly crush the cracker and put it in. Give it a quick mix and then dump in the nuts and the dry fruit. And then you can turn the heat off now. Just give it a good mix to make sure they're all well mixed together. Now while it's still warm, you want to hurry up and transfer it onto a baking sheet with parchment paper. Now we're just going to flatten it out. You can roll it out to your desired thickness, but then personally, I like it to be about one centimeter thick. I think it's perfect for a bite-sized treat. Now you just have to wrap it up and put it in the fridge and let it cool down for about a couple hours. All right, it's been two hours. It's very cold and hard. We're ready to cut them into bite size. And now, I recommend everybody to have a cutting board for raw food and a cutting board for like fruit and pastry. And this is my cutting board for the pastry, so I'm going to use it. And really, it's up to you how big or small you want to cut it. I like to cut it into little squares as a bite-sized treat. And these edges are my treat. Are 
Aren't they so cute? Now I'm gonna give it a try. Mmm. I can't help it. This chewy snowflake thing, it's the whole package. It's buttery and it's got the chewiness from the marshmallow and got that flaky and the crunchiness from the Ritz crackers. And then also these dry fruits and the yogurty kind of tanginess. And then these nuts that gives you this nutty and earthy flavor that brings everything together. Oh my God, don't blame me if you get addicted. All right, now the secret is out. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do like the video or the recipe, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the little notification bells. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.